Hey there and welcome back. So today we're going to have a look at this. Now, there's two reasons why I'm looking at this. One, it's a little something different to do with the hobby, different side of it, you know, like the, the vehicles, the extras, what you put on, uh, as well as just as the trains, what make the layout. Two, as you can see, we got this for an absolute bargain. And I will be honest with you, there was about five of these in the shop and at five pounds I got every single one of them. It doesn't matter, they are all the same name, but it doesn't matter that it's, well for me that it's all the same name. Because at five pound when I've seen these online for 15, 20 pound plus, I will take that all day long in helping gain some stuff for the layout, especially if you think on a bit of a budget as well. If they're 15, 20 pounds online, that's four of these for the price of one. So I am not going to complain at that. And thirdly, if we turn it round, it is 176 scale, diecast metals bonus. But 176 means it is great and the right size for our railway. So what I have done, this one obviously is still in the box I will show you this one because this one's actually got a bit of weathering on it so you know that would make this even more expensive so I will take this one out to show you but I do have one of the other ones out so let's bring that in and let's have a look at it so we're not going to go with the super close-up camera today we're just going to stay with this camera but yeah so as you can see already I mean if anybody just likes collecting these it comes on a really nice plinth and it says exactly what it is and I'm guessing that's the product code the product number so let's start like we would from a train from the front oh just quickly before we do that sorry if you look underneath one thing about this if you see these screws they are like a triangle shape so you may be able to get away with a large enough flat blade screwdriver but bear in mind that to take these off, you will need a different or slightly different type of screwdriver. Now, if there was three of these. Um, let me just think. Yes, there was ones like this, which I got. There was one which was a Scania T-cab, which has got a long nose on the front. That's currently up in the loft. And then there was another one which was more like a curtain cider effect to the side and to the top so that's one that i've passed over to my dad for his layout oh and and there was a probably about that size maybe there was a horse box variation of this as well so i'm sorry but i snaffled everyone from the shop because <laughs> the plan is to make a little bit of a lorry park spoiler for the layout so let's have a look at this so let's go from the front as we can see we've got some really nice detailing on the front we've got the emma jade the name on the front and yeah they are all going to have the same name but again for five pounds does this bother me no i made up we're getting quite a lot of cheap um, vehicles to go on the layout so it really doesn't matter as we can see we've got the white wheels painted on the front we've got silver on the back we've got the silver wheels on the trailer now if we go to the side sorry we have the mirrors we have your little sun visor at the top here that's your air intake and if we go like that you can see there's the uh, well, you can see the air intake goes down the back. You've got the fuel tank, a slight representation of where all your air and electric lines go. And if we pull this back slightly, all of this cab is on metal. Same with the fuel tank. Uh, I have got a couple of these off, so I do know. All of this chassis and underneath is all metal. On the trailer, all of this base frame here is metal. The body is plastic and obviously you know that is fair enough as that's more than fine that it's plastic. You've got a really really nice application of the Eddie Stobart livery on the side. 
you've got a really good representation of the fridge unit on the front and then as you can see we've got the wonderful chevrons on the side if we go around to the back you've got your long vehicle boards you've got your trailer number all the store by information you've got the doors and the handles and the locks picked out up the top and up at the bottom as well so this is really nicely done you've even now these are looks like they're painted on our stickers I mean the light bits aren't the best at the bottom but you know what it doesn't matter you can always always pick those out yourself if you wish to and then go around the other side exactly the same and even on the front if you look here you have a little registration plate and on the back the registration plate matches as well yeah it's a little bit skew with but that's okay but yeah that is an absolutely fantastic vehicle and a great addition to the set like i said for five pounds each i am definitely definitely not going to complain at the way this is that is fantastic so let me pop that to one side so we'll get our box back in so let's just open this and there was a couple of these that weren't in boxes but the majority of them were and as you can see there there's nothing wrong with the boxes whatsoever you've got your protective plastic up the top in a nice cardboard box which gives them plenty of protection brilliant and as we can see by this one whoever has had this has weathered it now again it's exactly the same exactly the same name number but i really don't mind i really really don't mind you know it's for what it is for five pounds they can all be called emma if they want to i really don't mind but yeah so you can see here not so much with the front but down the side you've got the weathering applied to it you know to represent uh, you know a couple of weeks out on the road you know it needs a bit of a wash a little bit on the back door as well it's actually been done quite well with um with how accurate it is so we've got this as well so we could even build ourselves a little bit of a truck wash if we wish to and then you've got a little bit on the top of the fridge unit and yeah absolutely fantastic so i have one two i think there's four of these what i've got um i have got a smaller one which um is a rigid i'm trying to remember if i did a review on that one i am not 100 percent sure but yeah so at this point in time we have got four wagons in the correct scale for the layout so let me know what you think of these i think these are absolutely fantastic a brilliant amazing find and this is why for me you should always check your local retailer your local hobby model shop because everyone that i've been to has always got a bit of like a, a reduced section or like a, you know a bargain bucket or something like that and look at some of the stuff that you can find i mean this honestly this may be a one-off find but saying that i did find a couple of the hornby scaledale buildings they were without boxes and i think if i remember rightly they were only 10 pound each so another amazing find so guys check out your local retailers see what they've got in those bargain buckets have you know just have a good look and a good search around because i saw one of these in the cabinet and i didn't realize they had more of them in the bargain buckets so again don't forget always check your local retailer especially if you're trying to do things on a budget or you're just looking for a good deal or to be honest if someone's just a collector of these that is an amazing amazing find so with that being said, I hope you've liked this little look at something different to do with the hobby. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a kind of like a, a quicker review this week. 
and just showing what you can find out there especially if you're trying to do things on a budget you can get some amazing amazing finds so always check out your local model shops so with that being said thank you very much for watching thumbs up like and subscribe and as always we shall see you in the next video <laughs>